Hi, it's Anne from the Society of Breast Imaging, the 10th postgraduate course, and I'm here with Jerry Cole. And what are the new hot topics, you think, in the last year to two years? I, I think we are beginning to move towards more personalized screening for women, taking into consideration their, both their familial risk factors and, of course, the new hot topic is breast density and how that may affect risk. And what do you see the ordinary woman on the street? Is she involved in that? Is she concerned about that? Has she heard about that? Well, yes, as I'm sure you're aware, in Connecticut, they passed legislation um, a year and a half ago requiring that patients be notified of their breast density. And we're finding more and more patients inquiring about their personal breast density. And how are women notified? Is that in the lay letter that they're uh, required to get after a screening mammogram? In Connecticut it is, and there's legislation pending in, in seven other states at this time to do essentially what Connecticut has done uh, to there, provide. Is there standardized ways that radiologists measure or comment on breast density? Up to now, uh, there has been, it's been primarily a subjective appraisal by the physician of the density based upon BIRADS density standards. And that's um, BIRADS from the American College of Radiology? Yes, yes. And, but recently there have been some developments in objectively determining density by volumetric assessment from the mammogram. So that's basically the computer actually takes a look at the mammogram and decides the density? Yes, it's a very complex algorithm, but it takes the four processing image as generated by the acquisition equipment and determines the volumetric density from that. And then the, does the radiologist have to approve that or can they override that? Uh, certainly they can override it. Just as with CAD, it's an advisory tool. Okay. Um, but we find that in most cases it's accurate. And why should women, or why are women told that they should know their breast density? There's really two reasons. One is that there's increasing amount of evidence that density is in fact an independent risk factor for breast cancer. The second one is that the more dense the tissue, the harder it is for the radiologist to use that image for interpretation because cancer appears white and density also appears white on the mammogram. So that goes along with what I've been hearing at the Society of Breast Imaging. They're talking more about risk factors. They're talking more about other modalities besides just mammography for detecting early breast cancer. Yes, it's very, very exciting.